Hello, my name is Father Jim Zettel. I'm pastor of Our Lady of Grace Church here in beautiful Angus, Ontario. And if you are watching this video, it means that you have a child or children in need of receiving the sacrament of confirmation this year. Your teachers and the, the principal have all the information they need, but if it's helpful to have this supplement here to from the priest's point of view of, of what we're looking for this year, this is why you're watching this video. In the, the coming days and weeks, your, your children will bring home a, a package from the church with four, four paper items with it. Maybe we can, we can walk through those together in these, these few minutes to get some sense of what we're, we're looking for. So first, you'll see one of the pages is a, an introductory letter about the sacrament of, of confirmation at the parish this year. The most important thing is that there is a, a good relationship between the school, the parish, and families. Because all of us have a part to play in the formation of your, your young people, especially those in grade 7 and 8 who are very quickly moving on to a next phase of their life where the Holy Spirit and his gifts will become even more important. So the ideas that I, I put together in this package are these. The school, of course, has the religion classes that you've been attending for for these years. This will be a regular basis for your children's uh, religious education, and that's good. We're happy. With, we're happy with that. From the parish point of view, there's a few videos that we like you to to watch to sort of update yourselves in in Catholic faith. Both some things for yourselves as parents. To, to watch and to, to chew on, and also something for your, your young people. And that's what we'll walk through in a moment. But the most in, important piece in this, in this group of uh, formation for, for confirmation really is, is yourselves as, as parents, because long after your children uh, graduate from uh, OLG school and long after they move to British Columbia or they move to, to Europe to find themselves, you will be always their parents. They may leave Angus, but you will always be, be mom and dad. And so this is why we have this, this program that really has a, a deeper focus on, on you as, as parents. So this is what we're, I'm asking for in, in this letter. The most important thing as this year goes by is to do your best as, as a family to, to come to Mass. Ideally, to come to Mass on, on Sunday. The Masses here at the parish are, are Saturday at 5 p.m. and Sunday at 10 a.m. and 12 noon, and all the Masses are in English. Or maybe it means to, to come to a weekday Mass now and then. These are good, solid building stones for, for the future. The other thing is to consider returning to a regular attendance at the Sacrament of Confession. You know, maybe it's been a while for yourselves, maybe it's been a while for your, your young people as well, but confession really is something very important that, that allows us to have that inner freedom to, to respond to the Holy Spirit without fear of, of guilt and shame that kind of creep around in the back of our, the back of our head. Now here, I'm always willing to hear confessions. The scheduled confessions are uh, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday at 6.30 until 7 p.m. before the the evening masses and then Saturday mornings at 8 30 before the the morning the 9 a.m. morning mass so if you're able to come to those times please do you'll always find a, a priest most uh, accommodating of you and if those times don't work just let me know I'm most happy to to make arrangements around around your schedule so that, that's the that's the main the main piece uh, the next piece more from a um, a learning point of view 
are the videos that we ask the parents and young people to watch a little bit at a time over these, these coming weeks. For the, the young people, there are our links in the, the letter and then also in the description below for the formed.org program. It's really like Catholic Netflix. When you go on, you'll see the, tre the, the tremendous uh, number of excellent resources for your family. What I'm asking the young people to do is to, to watch the videos called Never Alone. It's, you, you'll find that in the, the sacraments uh, column of the uh, of form.org. And, and there is also a digital workbook attached. And just with you and your, your young people to kind of go through it together, if you can, to kind of talk about and unpack some of the things that they're, they're getting from there. This would be a great help for them and for, for you. And the other piece, and maybe this is a little surprising, is that I have homework also for you as parents. How often do we as, as adults come to, to marriage and, and work and kids and families with the same information now in our 20s, 30s, and 40s that we still had when we were 12 and 13 years old? The invitation I have for you is to, at the same time, uh, update and to grow in your own adult spirituality. And so I've included some, some video series for you as parents to watch. You won't find these preachy videos. These are really excellent and, and life-giving, nourishing uh, series. You'll see on the sheet here that uh, I recommend a few videos. One is called the series Presence that gives a an adult and very moving presentation of what it means that Jesus is present in the Eucharist and in the Holy Mass. The second series is called Forgiven. This is all about what it means the sacrament of confession, reconciliation for us as adults and, and how to bring that into our own our own families. And the third series is called Beloved, and it is a, an unpacking of the sacrament of, of marriage to sort of revamping yourselves what it means to be a couple, what it means to, to have children and to enter into to family life. So those are those two pieces that I like to invite your family to do, your young people with one set and yourselves as parents with another set. So that's the one form there, you'll see. The other one, and this may be just in, in terms of, of paperwork, just to fill in this information sheet so we can schedule you appropriately for, uh, for confirmation this year. At the top of the form, you'll see that there are, are four dates that Bishop Boisineau will be here to, uh, to administer the, the Sacrament of, of Confirmation this year and to find the date that's best for you. So you'll see on the sheet here, that there is Thursday, June 9th at 7 p.m., Friday, June 10th at 7 p.m., and Saturday, June 11th at 11 a.m. and 2 p.m. Check the date that's, that's going to work best for you. And the sooner you get it in, the easier it is for us to, to establish this is, is your date without having to worry about rescheduling. The third sheet, is a little uh, checklist. So on this checklist, you'll see, did I complete the registration form? Check. Uh, have I done the, the formed.org videos with ourselves as, as, as adults and with our young people? Check. Uh, I've included here also a, uh, a donation form. It's, we're not here to, to make money from the sacraments, but the donations do help for us to, to further our, our resources and the outreach that we can have in the years to come with uh, with our young people. And and finally, the last bit here is the the baptism certificate from your uh, your your young person, as well as the baptism certificate from their uh, their sponsors that they can get very easily. If you ask me at the office if there's any difficulty, I, I can show you how to do it well. 
So friends, there is a little bit about uh, confirmation this year for our grade sevens and grade eights. If there's if there's any difficulties, don't hesitate to reach out here to the parish, to myself, to our secretary, Wendy, and also your teachers and principal and vice principal are very uh, accommodating to help. So God bless and let's move forward with the sacrament of confirmation. Ciao.